Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're back in the kitchen and we're making something that I've never eaten or made before because I'm allergic to it. So we are going to be making macaron, macarons, macaroon. I don't know how to say it. So I found this recipe on Tasty's website because one, it was the first search result and two, it had a video so I could follow along and figure out how to make them. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're using this still because um, there's noise. For this recipe, we are going to need one and three quarters cups, three quarter cups of powdered sugar. One cup of almond flour, but I'm allergic. So we are using regular flour and then hoping that it works the same. You're going to need one teaspoon of salt, three egg whites at room temperature, so we'll, they'll get there, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two drops of food coloring. Hi! You're supposed to combine the powdered sugar, the flour, half a tea, and half a teaspoon of salt in a food processor. We don't have a food processor, and I don't know, you know why you would need that for flour. So it's more powdered sugar than it is flour. That's one and three quarters. And I know baking, you want things to be precise, but I also, it's not gonna be. There we go. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of salt. Ah, this is one teaspoon, so half of this. So now I've got all that in a bowl. So now I'm just gonna, you know. God, I look like I'm doing a lot of cocaine. Now this was to sift it into a larger bowl. All right, so we're going to sift. It says a large one, but I only have this little baby one, which will work fine. It's a good thing that nobody who knows how to bake is watching this, except for maybe if you know how to bake and you're watching this, but like, I don't know how to bake, which is very apparent. Oops, this is gonna take a while. Let's not film all of this, I think. That would be a waste of my time, your time, everyone's time, so I'll be right back. All right, so I think I'm actually in frame now. We sifted this, so it's all nice and sifted. Okay, so here's where the hand mixer comes in, but I've got my trusty whisk here. I'm going to put in egg whites, the rest of the salt, and the sugar, and I'm going to make like the whipped egg thing. I'm going to use another bowl, because I love doing dishes. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna do this. The air is sweet now. Alright, so these eggs are warmer. They're still not room temperature. I always feel like just having egg whites is like wasteful, like what do I do with the yolk? This will do. <laughs> nice. Professional chef. Ew! Half a teaspoon of salt and then mix in the sugar until, you know, it's all incorporated. I'm gonna wash my hands. Let's get started. Half a teaspoon of salt. Throw that in there. This is gonna suck. Okay. <laughs> Add in the sugar. I'm glad I have nowhere to be today because this is going to take me a while. I'll be back in a second. I got it. I got stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. So now I'm supposed to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract That's fine. and some food coloring. I'm gonna make these pink because it sounds kind of cool. One, two. So now add flour mixture. So this is not a big enough bowl. So what I'm going to do is put this in here I'm using a spoon, not a whisk, because this is a bad idea. All right, now it says add about a third of the flour mixture at a time, and you're supposed to fold it. So this is done being stirred. Yeah, so I'm supposed to put these onto parchment paper, but I don't have any parchment paper. All I have is freezer paper, and that's, you can't bake that because it has wax on it or something. So I'm gonna put it into a bag. I'm gonna use that as my like little squeezy bag. And then I'm going to just put it straight onto the baking sheet and then really, just really hope really, really hard that it doesn't stick. <laughs> chill out 
out for like an hour, so we'll see you then. So I'm throwing these into the oven now and we'll see how they come out. I'm supposed to bake them at 300 degrees for 17 minutes. So let's see if they turn out correct. So this pan turned out okay, like pretty good, like not bad, but I'm pretty sure they're all stuck because I forgot to like do anything to make it not stick. Um, these look really rough and these ones I burnt somehow. I don't know, it's not good. So yeah, that's what I got. And uh, let's go make some frosting. I'm back from baking. We're gonna wait for those to cool. And while we're doing that, I'm going to make the filling, which is just frosting, which I didn't know that. We're going to need two sticks of butter at room temperature, three cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons of heavy cream. I feel like this recipe is just so much sugar, and it's just butter also. Sugar and butter. This is, these are gonna kill me. It's all just sugar and butter. Sugar and butter. So I'm supposed to add the butter and beat it with a mixer. Beat the butter until it's like fluffy. Three cups of powdered sugar. Does it say to add it in carefully? Ah! Not dump it all in there. Okay, now I'm adding the vanilla extract. Beat to combine. Heavy whipping cream. <coughs> this goes in here, one tablespoon at a time. That's one, two, three. That's pretty good. Now I have to put it in a piping bag with a round tip, and by piping bag, I mean plastic bag. Everything's kind of cool, kind of. And so I'm gonna try to assemble some stuff. I've got this really good bag of frosting and I've got all my ones that turned out okay, even though they're all super burnt, where if you bite into it, it's like a fun rock. So um, let's do it. This is too big of a hole. Um, uh-oh. You know, I can just kind of boop. Wow. Professional chef? I think so, guys. So, time to taste them. I'm gonna try this one, because I feel like it's the least burnt. Um, it looks great. Um, I think you're supposed to let these sit for a while, but I'm just gonna eat them, because I don't have any patience. Yeah. Oh. I have a feeling they're not supposed to be that crunchy. It tastes good. Pros, it's like eating straight sugar. Cons, it's also like eating rocks. So, I'd rate this 5 out of 10, because it looks almost right. It tastes okay, but it also hurts your mouth. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I forgot to film an outro because my whole family was watching me bake, and it stressed me out. If you like this video, you can like it. If you want to subscribe, you can do that. It's really up to you. I don't really care. But yeah, see you next time. Bye.